Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, my name is Chloe and I'm an amateur runner. I started running I would say consistently during lockdown in 2020 but I only started to really take it seriously and learn how to train uh, back in spring 2021 and in this video I wanted to share what I think helped me improve my half marathon PB by over five minutes in the space of one year. December 2021 I did a half marathon in Malaga and I finished it in one hour 39 minutes and 14 seconds. This was already a one and a half minute PB compared to my very first half marathon race uh, in November 2021 just a month before. Now I run the same half marathon in Malaga in December 2022 just a few weeks ago it was the exact same course and this time I set a new PB of one hour 33 minutes and 53 seconds. I was the first surprised to finish well over five minutes quicker than the year before so I decided to take a look at my training over the past 12 months because yes I have been consistent and there's no doubt that consistency played the biggest role but in that consistent training what helped me take it to the next level what changed in 2022 and how can I progress this further in 2023 so that's what I'm going to share with you in this video hopefully this might help a few of you but it's also a good analysis for me to help me identify where I can progress further this year so let's get started with the long runs um, two key things changed in 2022 the first one is the long runs got longer, especially since Ben, who is my partner, became my coach. Um, ben is a very good runner, he's got years of endurance training under his belt, and then he came on board in August to shake things up in my training. When I was half marathon training in the second half of 2022, pretty much all my long runs were 20 to 22k long, so I was almost doing a half marathon um, every week, as opposed to in 2021, where I was maybe doing a a half marathon once in a blue moon um, when I was training for my half marathon I think I only did the distance once in training another thing that changed is that in 2021 and early 2022 I will do all my long runs at an easy or steady pace Ben introduced the long run workouts with blocks at tempo pace or race pace into my long runs he also made me do progression runs all of this was new to me and ultimately in the second half of 2022 I had a lot more half marathon race pace practice into my training I really want to stress that the long runs got longer and harder because I was ready for this. I had built up a solid base with months of consistent training and at this point we were able to increase the volume and the intensity and I still want to progress this in 2023 as my body keeps adjusting. The long runs will get a little longer probably. For instance, I'd really like to be able to do like, I don't know, maybe 25K long runs at some point later this year. Next up, the speed sessions. So I used to have one speed session a week and then sometimes one of my easy runs had some tempo pace in there and basically I went from one to two speed sessions with Ben. It's not like we replaced an easy run with a speed session, we basically added one more run onto my schedule. So I went from five runs a week to six runs a week, probably around August 2022. And then what changed with the sessions, especially since Ben took over my training plan, is that I was doing longer rep sessions, for instance, three times eight minutes at race pace or three times 10 minutes, just a little slower than race pace. Um, I'm pretty sure that in 2021, my longest rep sessions was kilometer reps, like six times 1K or something like that. I still have this type of sessions. I still have K reps or one minute, two minutes. But what changed really in the second half of 2022 is that I got used to sustaining a high intensity effort for longer periods of time. Uh, and it really paid off on race day. And similar to the long runs, as my body keeps adjusting to the increased volume and intensity, I'm sure Ben will spice things up again with the sessions, making them a bit harder with faster pace etc in the next few months so it's a combination of progress in these two areas both the long runs and the sessions that contributed to gradually 
and gradually is the keyword here gradually build up my weekly volume and increase my intensity and ultimately help me progress especially on the half marathon distance now let's talk about fueling and let's be honest there's still a lot of room for improvement for me in that department i am still very scared of gels uh, i can't bring myself to trying them uh, i think the texture really is my issue but um, at least i have made some progress in 2022 in regards to fueling just you know some baby steps and i know that it really helped me so it encourages me to carry on working on the fueling i used to only have a few tiny sips of science sports carbs and electrolyte mix during my long runs and that was about it as the long runs got longer and harder i knew i needed more fuel and i wanted also to practice for the half marathon races i decided to try chews i used the velo forte chews i think i started to use them maybe in August, September, I really like them and I'm still using them for my long runs. The only problem is that it's really hard to chew and uh, run at race pace. So that's my only issue with chews and I think my fueling can be improved. I just need to try gels because that would be easier on race day and that would probably help me progress further because if I have more energy then I might be able to run a bit faster. And the final category is a bit of a melting pot of different elements that are not running but that really supported my training and my progress. So let's start with external help. I'm not saying you need a coach but personally I think it really helped me because I couldn't see that I was plateauing in my training and that I was ready to step things up but Ben from his external perspective he could see that and that's exactly what he did he helped me take my training to the next level another thing is resistance training now before I picked up the running bug I was very much a gym girl um, I love lifting weights and I still love doing that um, and I even used to work as a PT at a gym so it plays to my advantage because it's not really an effort for me to go and do my strength training as a runner and I really really think that both running and resistance training go hand in hand it has definitely helped my running I love to focus on exercises that are good for balance for core strength for coordination for instance I do a lot of unilateral exercises such as lunges or single leg deadlifts I do a lot of plank exercises and also all my compound movements like the deadlifts and the barbell rows and all those things it's really good to prevent muscular imbalances it's really good for your bones it's really good for your tendons and it's really good to prevent injuries my goal for this year is not only to carry on going to the gym but to hopefully do a little bit more of resistance training if i could go from three to four gym workouts a week pretty much every week that would be great one thing I need to improve this year is my mobility work. Uh, I kind of neglected that uh, up to this point and I know that one day it's going to come bite me in the bum if I do not focus on mobility. So what I've just started to implement is a 20 minute mobility session every week. Just started doing this so hopefully I build this up into my routine and I stick to it. And I think this wraps up this little analysis of what I think helped me take over five minutes of my half marathon pb in one year and what will help me further progress in 2023 if you want to find out more about my running so far i will link two videos for you one is my running journey in a lot more details and the other one is my 2022 year in review thank you so much for watching guys if you enjoyed this video if you found it helpful please give it a like if you're new i would love for you to subscribe and i hope to see you in my next video bye